Hey, good evening, Shep. And we're in a section of this beach that's a little less crowded. I want to give you a real-time look at what's happening. More spread out here, more families on this end. But a mile away, you've got beach clubs. You've got huge crowds at spring break parties. Those crowds expected, along with concerns, to grow here. They've tossed out COVID restrictions in Texas, which for some means no mask and no distancing during spring break on South Padre Island. The state has opened up for business, so that means we're open for business. We're trying to give the kids something to, you know, enjoy their spring break so they come back to the island. And they are coming back, many aware, but not all that worried, it seems, about the virus. I'm kind of immune to COVID. I haven't gotten it since COVID has started. I've been out and about. So here, I think, I mean, some people are wearing masks, some are not, but I mean... If you're trying to have a good time, just come no matter what. Not every spot on the beach is packed. <laughs> Families are a bit more spread out and enjoying what, for the first time in a year, feels like a normal getaway. The beach is coming back to life. The town's coming back to life. Uh, we're having some fun out here. Um, restrictions aren't so crazy. You know, everybody just kind of relax. But doctors and local officials warn now's not the time to relax with concerns about what they fear could be a dangerous spring break hangover. I hope that this doesn't come back to, to create uh, an influx of cases and uh, super spreader virus uh, incidents during spring break. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Now, look, the concern here twofold. First, will there be a spike in cases here on the island because of spring break? And then as the students, as the families head home, Shep, will they bring the virus to their communities? Better outside than in. Jay Gray, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.